Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting High Marshal Helbrecht. Yes, the Grand High Marshal of the Black Templars has finally landed at War Hipster Towers and I'm very excited to paint him. So, without further ado, we're going to get into painting him and the first colour we're going to be using is Warplock Bronze. And I should say before we do the warp block bronze that he has been primed in grey sear. Now, as I say, the first colour that we're going to be using is warp block bronze. We've got some thin down here on our palette. I'm going to be using this across all of his armour. Now, this is quite a dark paint, as you can see. But what we want to do is we want to get this all over. We want to get a nice kind of thick coat of this all over his armour. And when I say thick coat, what I mean is a nice smooth coat, because this is going to provide us a really nice dark metallic base of which to work off of. So we just want to add a little bit more in here, because I think I've got it slightly too thin on the palette. There we go, that's much better. So, what we want to do just get this all over all of his armour and then once that's done we'll come right back. So with our warp lock bronzer pride what we're now going to do is we're going to start brightening that armour right up. Now the first colour we're going to be using is brass scorpion on its own and basically what we want to do here is we effectively want to re-layer over the top of where we've done that warp block bronze, just avoiding the darkest recesses. Just like this. So with that brass scorpion now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down Rune Lord brass. And we're now going to effectively do another relayering. Only this time, what we're going to do is we want to just apply this where we want it to be nice and shiny. So for example, there across the bridge of the foot and across the top of the actual boot itself. Like so. And then similarly across the front here. Just like this. Just go around picking out all the areas you want to be nice and shiny and bright.
and then we'll come back. And with that done, we're then gonna take some Reichland Flesh Shade Gloss. I'm gonna use this to add a little bit of a shade over the top of our armor. So what we're just gonna do is just very carefully, we don't want this to be a really heavy coat. We do just wanna get this all over. So now that we've got all those different metallics on there, we'll get very different shades out of it. This will just add a little bit more of a glossy shit finish to this. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Sycorax bronze and we're gonna use this just like we did with that Rune Lord brass. Only this time we're gonna use it in a much more narrow way. So for example, we just wanna add a little bit of this Sycorax bronze just there across the toes and just right in the middle there. And so with that done, what we then want to do is we just want to add a little spot highlight of canoptic alloy just to our sharpest points around all of the armor. Just like that, just to really make it pop. So with that done, I've gone round and I've meetened up some of the areas where we splodge some metallics and shades and things but as you can see our gold bronze brass whatever color you want to call it armor is now finished and it looks absolutely cracking so what we're going to do now is move on and the color we're going to move on to is all of the black now we've got areas such as the templar crosses on the shoulders here and here we've got the tabard and things like that and any other areas that you want to be black and the color that we're going to be using first is basilicanum gray and this is going to act as our pre-shade and i'm going to start here on the cloak and what we want to do is we just want to start getting this basilicanum gray all over the areas that we want to be black
And so with that basilicanum gray applied, what we're then going to do is take some black templar. I'm going to use this over the top. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red. We're going to use this to paint in all of the kind of brighter red details. Now I'm starting off with a very, very small brush, this size 00 Series M from Artist Opus. And that is because we've got quite a few little tiny fiddly ones, such as the areas around the outside of the Templar crosses. So we've got this one here, we've got both the ones on the shoulder pads. But we've also got areas such as these large kind of bits of paper on the back, which we're going to do with a bigger brush. So just check out the box art. And with that Blood Angels Red applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Dark Oath Flesh. I'm going to use this to shade the fabric back here. Like so, as well as this large trail here too. Like that. And then what we're going to do is going to use some dark earth flesh to colour in his skin. And with that done, we're then going to take some wildwood 
I'm going to use this to paint in all of the leather details. There aren't very many. It's mostly just his belt. Just there like that. Remember that wildwood applied? We're then going to take some skeleton hoard. I'm going to use this to paint in all of our remaining purity seals. Like so. As well as the various skulls. That he's carrying around. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some flesh terrors red. I'm going to use this to paint in any of the wax seals. I've just realized I've missed two purity seals right there. What we're also going to do with that flesh terror's red is we're going to now paint this over the top of our candles. To make them nice and dark. We're also going to paint this Flesh Terrors Red over the weapon grip. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Yandan Yellow. I'm going to use this to paint in the lantern. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Apothecary White and we're going to use this to shade, effectively, all of the areas that we want to be white. So we've got this area down here on his knee. We've got his right shoulder pad. We've got the little skull and L'Oreal. L'Oreal? Laurel. On his gorget.
Got this Templar cross just here. Like that. We've also got these little shields. We don't need to worry about doing his headband. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use some thin down lead belcher. We're gonna use this to paint in all of his silver details. So this is gonna be all of the areas such as the chains, the sword blade, the vents on his backpack, and anywhere else that you wanna be silver. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Retributor armor. I'm gonna use this to paint in all of our remaining metallic details. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on Helbrecht himself, and he's looking pretty awesome. He's not shaded yet, but that doesn't matter, because what we are gonna do is we're gonna do something slightly unconventional at War Hipster Towers, is we are in fact gonna now move on to the base, and specifically the servitors and the corpse, because there's a lot of kind of silver and all this kind of thing, and we wanna get all of that done at the same time. So with that in mind, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some Ultramarines Blue, I'm going to use this to add our first coat over the top of our servitor's clothes. And with that done, just whilst we wait for that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Dark Oath Flesh. I'm going to use this to paint in their skin. And so with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Basilicanum Grey and we're gonna use this over the top of our Ultramarines Blue. Like this. as 
well as over the top of the boots. And the cables and any other details that you want to be black. And with that done, just whilst we wait for that to dry, is what we're going to do is we're going to take some auric flesh. I'm going to use this to paint in the skin of the orc corpse. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is going to make a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part orc flesh mix. We're just going to paint this over the top of all that skin. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red. And we're going to use this to paint in all of our red details. So this is going to include areas such as the casing on the combi weapon. And the smooth cables. On the servitors. And so with those red details now painted in, they're still drying at the minute, but not to worry. What we are going to do is we're going to take some wildwood. I'm going to use this in a couple of different places. So firstly, on the little tabards that the servitors have got, we want to add this wildwood over the top. Like so. And there's one just under there as well. Like that. And then we also want to add this over the top of all the leather on our dead orc. So with that wildwood applied, as you can see, I have also added basilicarnum grey to the rocks and wildwood to the gravel, just in the interests of saving some time. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take some black templar, and we're going to now use this to create all of our black details. So for example, just here on the orcs bracelet, we want this to be a nice dark, almost black brown. I'm going to apply this over the top like that. We're also going to apply this over the top of the basilicarnum grey that we applied to our servitors. Like 
like that, as well as the boots. Like so. And then we're also going to apply it over the top of the Orcs boots. And the strap going around the Orcs thigh. Just in there. Like so. So you just want to go around, colouring on all the areas that you want to be black. And then once that's done, we'll come back. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some skeleton hoard. I'm going to use this on all of our sort of bony parts. So, what we've got is we've got the teeth just here. We've got just the tiniest little bit of a purity seal just there on that servitor. And we've got the skeleton. Just down here on the base. As well as a skull just hiding there. And so with that done, we're then going to take some apothecary white. I'm going to use this on the little cloth. And so with that done, it is now time to work on the metallics once again. And the colour we're going to be using first is lead belcher. Now this is the majority metallic. And we're going to just be painting this over pretty much all of these details on the servitors and on the orc itself. Now, on the bolt gun, there's a little bit of variation, but otherwise, the majority of it is going to be this lead belcher. And it's going to be pretty much every area that we haven't covered already. And with that done, as you can see, got all that silver on. What we're now going to do is we're going to take some Rune Lord Brass. I'm going to use this to paint in the barrel of the combi melter. And the kind of clasp at the end of the chain for the gun. So just under here as well. And with that done, what we now want to do is take a teeny tiny amount of the lupus pink and colour in the tongue on our corpse. Like so. So with that now done, don't worry about the wound around the sword blade or even that kind of bottom lip of the orc just yet. We're going to be doing those slightly later on. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some shading to the model. Now the first colour we're going to be using is Basilicanum Grey. We're going to be using this for all of the silver present on the model. So we're going to be doing the Servitors, we're going to be doing Helbrecht as well, all of it. And we want to get this all over.
just like this. In addition, what we want to do is we want to use this to shade the gold details, not including the sword. Gold. So areas such as this area up here. And the lantern. As I say, not that sword hilt. And with that done, as you can see, with that the silicone grey applied to all the silver, the model has taken quite a significant leap forward. But just before we can call all the shading done, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some dark oath flesh. I'm going to use this to shade the sword hilt and the pommel, as well as the barrel of our combi melter. So with all that shading applied, it is now time to add some highlights to our model because Helbrecht is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. But of course, we are going to take him so much further. Now, the place we're going to start is across all of that black and the colour we're going to be using first is Eshin Grey. And what we want to do is we just want to take some of this on our brush and we just want to start picking out the edges all the way around all of our black details. And this is including on Helbrecht. And on, of course, the corpse and our servitors as well. So just take your time. And then once that's done, we'll come back. And so with that Eshen Grey applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this as a spot highlight on the soft black detail. So like the cloak here, for example, just on those sharpest bits. Whereas on the hard black details, so for example, the Templar cross on the shoulder just here, we want to basically go over the top of the Eshin Grey. And so with that Dawnstone applied, what we then do is take a tiny amount of Administratum Grey. And we're just going to add that as a little spot on the sharpest little tiny corners. Like this. Particularly focusing on the harder black details. Just like that. And so with that, all of the black details across the model are now finished. And they're looking pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some thins down Evil Sun Scarlet and we're gonna use this to highlight all of our red details. 
So we're going to be doing all the areas that are flesh terrors red, all of the areas that are blood angels red, excluding the kind of extreme edges of this Templar cross in the middle. What we want to do on this Templar cross in the middle is basically pick out where there's a fold in the cloak. Now there's only the two. Just there like that, because the outline of that cross is white. Whereas for the rest of it, we do just want to highlight all of the red. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Jacaro Orange to add a little spot highlight to the sharpest corners on all of our red details. So with that squig orange applied to all of our red details, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some thin down Corax white. And we're gonna use this in a couple of different ways. So the first thing we wanna do is in any large open areas, we wanna just kind of relayer this over the top. So for example, this Templar cross here on the front, we just wanna make this nice and bright. So we're just gonna get this Corax white all over. Like that. Similarly, the little shields just here. Like that. And of course, there's one down here. And there's one on the back too. Like that. What we also want to do is we want to effectively relayer the shoulder pad. Just avoiding where those shaders settled. The apothecary white. And then similarly on the headband, we also just want to get this all over. like this. However, down here on the knee pad, what we want to do is we want to highlight the uh, the device, I'm picking out the spikes and the rivers, rivets and the edges. Similarly on the cloth, Like that. And then on this Templar cross in the middle, we want to pick out the edge. And so with that Corax white all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to go back to Evil Sun Scarlet. We're going to use this to paint some little designs on these shields. So on this one here, the front facing one, what we want to do is we want to paint a little chevron. Like that. We want to paint a diagonal line across this one. And we want to paint a cross across this one and this one. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some white scar and use this to highlight the white details. Just like this. 
So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to move on. We're going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our bone and parchment details. So with those bone and parchment details now highlighted, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to his face and well consequently the skin on the servitors as well but the first color we use is just on his face and the first color is wildwood and what we're going to do is we're going to use this on his bottom eyelid Just like that. You can also, if you're feeling brave, add a little bit of this into his uh, recesses of his face. And so with that done, what we then do is we take a tiny amount of Black Templar. I'm going to paint this over the top of his eyeballs. Like that. And like that. And then we're also going to put this over the top of any of the plugs. And studs on the top of his head. Like so. And of course we're gonna do the same thing on the servitor faces as well. And so with that done, what we then do is we take some thinned down flayed one flesh and we're gonna use this to highlight all of the skin, picking out the sharpest details, for example, here on the hand. Like that. Whereas on Helbrecht's face, for example, we're going to use this to pick out areas such as the tip of his nose. His cheekbones. His lips, the wrinkles on his forehead. His dimples everywhere and with that done we then want to take a teeny tiny dot of screaming skull and we want to add this in the corner both corners of each of the eyeballs like that So with that done, Helbrecht himself is very, very nearly there. All that's left to do is the metallic highlights, which we are now going to do across all of the model. And then we've got a few more kind of non-metallic highlights left to do on the corpse and on the two servitors. But for the sake of getting Helbrecht himself finished, we're going to start with those metallics. So the color that we're going to be using first is iron hand steel. And basically what we want to do is we want to use this to pick out mostly just all the edges. Now on the head, what we want to do on those little plugs is we just want to add a little dot of this iron hand steel right in the middle of each of them. Like 
like so. Whereas on the sword blade, what we want to do is we want to pick out the flat edges in their entirety. So you want this to look nice and sharp, like that. And whereas for the rest of it, you just want to pick out the edges. So with that done, just before we finish off the silver, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down Sycorax bronze and we're going to use this to highlight all of our remaining gold details. So with that Sycorax bronze applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Stormhost silver. I'm going to use this as a little spot highlight on all of the silver and on all of those gold details. Except for on the sword blade, where we're just going to fully highlight those edges. So with that done, all of our metallics are now finished and they look suitably shiny, blingy and awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to very quickly take a tiny amount of Dawn Yellow. I'm going to add this as a dot in the middle of these sections on the lantern. Like that. And so with that Dawn Yellow applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Bane Blade Brown and we're going to use this to highlight all of our leather. So we've got his belt. like so. We've also got the orcs. Leather straps and his trousers. So with that done, Helbrecht is pretty much finished. The only thing left to do is to do the uh, blood on his sword. But what we are going to do just before we do that is we are going to take some thinned down rust grey and we're going to use this to highlight the dark blue cloth on our servitors. that done what we're now going to do is we're going to take some magos purple i'm going to add this over the top of the orc's bottom lip and across the vein on his arm. And 
And then we're also going to add this around the wound. And so with that Magos purple now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thins down auric flesh and we're going to use this as a layer over the top of our orc skin, making it nice and bright once again, just avoiding the recesses where that orc flesh has settled. And so with that auric flesh applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Ogryn camo. We're going to use this to highlight the orc's flesh. With that done, we're then going to take some full grim pink and we're going to use this as a little series of dots all the way along the bottom lip. And to highlight the tongue. And similarly, I'm just going to add a little series of dots along that vein. on his arm, like so. So with that done, what we now do is we take some Blood Angels Red. I'm going to use this to paint in the eyes of the Orc. Like so. We're also going to use it to paint in any lenses. So we've got one just here and we've got the kind of cybernetic eyes of our servitors as well. Like that. And then we've also got this little button on the back of each of them. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some blood for the blood god. And we're now going to add this to the wound. So what we want to do is we want to start building it up in where the sword is. As well as adding a little bit of it around where that Magos purple is. Like that. And then we also want to start adding this up along the sword blade as well. So what we want to do, we want to kind of just dab it on, going up as far as around about there. You want to make sure that it's a lot kind of darker towards the base. Let's bring it up a little bit more. And so with that done, Helbrecht is finished. As are the servitors, as is the corpse on the floor. And he looks pretty fantastic. So all that's left to do is to finish off the ground and the stonework. But before we can do that, what we're going to do is going to take some Sterling Battlemire and we're going to apply this to all that negative space 
where there isn't any plastic detail. So with that stun and battle my applied, all that's left to do is to add a dry brush over the top of, well, all of that groundwork and the colour we're going to be used to doing that is Tyrant's Skull. And as I say, we're just going to be getting this all over the stun and battle my, the gravel, the rocks, the skulls. the whole thing together. And so with that done, I've added some tufts to the base because all that remains to do is to colour in the rim of the base and I'm going to be using a bad and black, but of course you can use any colour that you wish for the rim of your base. And there we have it, High Marshal Helbrecht in all his glory is ready to lead the endless eternal crusade across the stars to purge the unclean, the mutant and the heretic. What an incredible model. I do love a diorama in a single model, it's always good fun and it was a lot of fun to paint. Um, I think it's very very effective, that brassy, goldy, bronzy armour looks really awesome and I'm very, very, very pleased. And I hope that when you paint your High Marshal Helbrecht, you're as pleased as I am with mine. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further, like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these absolute bosses have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks, just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.